Oh, this has been a topic of mine for, <laughs> I think, just over a year now. And I finally got some resin hard and all the carbon wraps and whatever you want to call it. And I've actually got everything to start this. And I'm at the point to start this, but I'm quite scared. Um, it's something that I really want to do. But I'm so scared that I do it wrong and then there's no going back. I mean, if you stick that carbon on there with all that resin and hardener, it's on there. Now, I've watched a few videos and I've looked at a few things and other people do it. And it doesn't seem to be too difficult. I don't know why I'm this anxious to do this. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Now there's so many of you ask me um, when is this video coming, when are we doing the carbon repair on the frame. Now I know there's many many videos on YouTube of guys doing it and they all kind of seem so professional with that. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to hardener or resins and all those things because that's not my line of work. But I must say it's, it's been a day or two that I've been doing some research trying to make sure that I do this the right way. Um, I am kind of anxious to do this because I want it to look good and uh, I want it to work. I mean, this is something I want to ride and I'm going to put some mirroring on it. I'm not the lightest um, rider at the moment or anymore. I can't believe I'm this heavy. But anyway, so I really want this to work. I don't want to build a bike, do all this, um, or put all this effort into something, spraying the damn thing and then it ends up breaking at the end again. I've seen people do this and uh, not doing a very good job at it and it still works. So I'm kind of excited but I am super anxious to do this. I'm going to need your guys' help. If you see anything that I do in these steps, because it will obviously be steps as the videos go, please let me know down in the comments if you would have done anything different. And then um, we're obviously going to start looking at coloring of the bike. Um, it's going to be rattle can spray, so it's not going to be a professional spray job as well. But I'm going to need your help to help me decide what colors we're going to spray this bike. So this is going to be a cool YouTube community build and repair and spray job and everything. Um, but then <laughs> I'm not going to let you guys wait anymore. I'm going to show you what I've done so far and then let's get into this video. Alright, so I taped off the little part. I uh, started sanding the bike, but I think I'm going to need to go a bit wider on each side or as wide as I can. The problem that I've got is I've got this pivot point right here and the crack... <laughs> Sorry for your ears. The crack is right there. So the crack, or the, I think it's broken. It's not a crack, it's broken off here, but it's least... It's not all the way through, so it's literally from there all the way around to the other side as well. But this is a lot closer to the pivot point than it is to the other side. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have to put in some extra layers here on top or whatever. But I'm going to try this. Like I said, um, the guy that gave me the carbon and resin and all those things, he will be helping me a little bit. I know he's done this before, but I'm not sure I'm going to have to put some layers down there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start sanding down these extra bits that I've got here for the resin and the carbon to stick a little bit better and um, what I have seen on YouTube and some of the reviews and how-to videos that I've watched is that you shouldn't sand away too much of your carbon now the thing is I want to see how deep this goes so I can put a bit more resin and carbon into that little crack there and then obviously I don't want it to be too bulky or leave a big heap of carbon right there so I want to put carbon there and then sand that away everything to make sure that the frame looks as it should the problem is my OCD will never let me have this big bulge here the other thing is most of the rear triangle sits over this you won't be able to see that too well anyway so there is some pros and cons to the crack being here but I am super scared so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to put you guys on uh, high plaps and I'm going to sand this part away I'm going to sand this part away and then at the bottom I want to get a bit more um, of the clear coat or paint away so that I'm sure I'm onto the carbon there. 
So the one thing that I've learned or that I could see what the guy says, when you sand the frame especially, um, as long as the powder from the, sand, the sanding powder, it stays a light color. In other words, it's not a dark um, powder that um, when you start sanding, you don't see a dark powder. It means you're not sanding away the carbon, which is a good thing. So I'm going to keep on sanding uh, the paint away and hopefully it stays a light color. And then we know we're not sanding away any of the carbon. <sighs> Let me stop talking and just start sanding this thing so we can get to this. Alright, so it's actually super cool. Um, what I meant with the white dust or the grey dust and wind sanding or sanding dust, you can see there, while I'm sanding the paint, you can see all that dust there is a grey or white colour. Then I kind of went over this part as well. You can't see it that good, but right around there, it's a bit darker sanding dust. So um, there's definitely a difference um, that you can see as soon as you're through the paint or the clear lacquer. Now, this bike, I think it's only a it's carbon with a clear lacquer over it, so I don't think it's too thick paint. But I'm going to continue sanding this, and then um, I'm going to start putting on the resin and the carbon. Now I'm still kind of scared of this. Like I said, this is, yes guys, that's almost like two centimeters on that side. But what I'll do is I'll see if I maybe just put one little strip down there, or maybe just um, cut it so it lays into this part a bit more. So what I'll do is. I'll take off the insulation tab that I've got there. This is just basically to protect it a bit more. I kind of sanded some of it right there, and that's just to protect the rest of the bike. Um, so I'm going to take this off, and then I'll sand a bit into this part there. Maybe a small little V, and then put the carbon onto that, just to give me that little bit of extra strength. Um, but I've checked, I can see the crack goes to there, and then on the other side the same. So it's luckily not all the way through. Um, but let's continue with this and see how it goes. Alright, so we sanded everything down, I took off the insulation tape, so you can see there's a, well, not a perfect line, but I can feel a small little um, difference, it's not a massive difference, but a small little difference in the thickness of the frame there, you can feel there's a small little step there, and I sanded it down a little bit there at the back as well, so I'm going to start mixing my resin, and then we'll lay the carbon, and please guys, by no means I'm a professional at this, um, it's the first time I'm doing this, so please do not do exactly what I'm doing at home and if it fails then you guys blame me um, make sure about the resin that you guys use and the hardness there's different um, uh, different ways of mixing them I know the one that I'm using now you throw a little bit of this and more of the other one um, so make sure the resin and the hardener you're using that you mix that correctly but the steps that I'm taking is steps that I've seen and steps that I see work so the steps you can follow but please just make sure that the resin and the hardener and everything else that you guys use that's the right things you guys are using. So let's mix the hardener and the resin. Uh, I'll cut the sheets real quick and then we'll start layering the carbon on the frame. Now I'm getting excited. Alright guys, I feel so bad. I've been doing this whole thing and I thought the video was um, recording or the camera was recording but it wasn't. So I mixed my resin and my hardener. I put this, uh, the layers on here real quick. I, made, I did three layers but now I need to wrap it real quick. So I'm going to do that first and then I'll see you guys after it's wrapped and then I'll talk through you guys quickly through the process. But I'm super sorry. Um, but let me do this real quick and then we'll talk again. Alright guys, I'm so sorry. I really thought I was recording this whole process of me layering the carbon. And it's quite um, satisfying doing that. But it is kind of scary as well. The moment you move into a different direction or so, the other layers pick up. Now what I've, what I've done is, I've actually um, taken my little brush. I put some resin and water onto the frame itself first. And then onto the sheets itself, I put it on uh, separately. I waited a couple of minutes for, um, they say the resin and the hardener, it gets tacky. So in other words, it starts getting sticky almost. So then you'll work a bit easier with the, with the carbon sheet. Now what I've seen on the internet, some of the guys, they put it on immediately and then, especially on the round parts, when you start pushing the carbon sheets down, it picks up again. Now what I've done is I've put on down my carbon sheet um, with the resin, and then I took some insulation tape and I've wrapped it around the carbon pot where I've laid as tight as possible. Um, unfortunately, the insulation tape, <laughs> it was finished, the little roll that I had. So I took some uh, masking tape. 
and I've heard a couple of guys telling me masking tape is quite good and I've seen it on a lot of videos that masking tape is quite good because it's non-toxic if I, if I remember correctly you can sand that off real quick and um, so it'll come off um, super quickly I mean you can it's like a paper um, tape so it comes off really really quickly so this is what we've got at the moment I actually took the insulation uh, the insulation tape over and then I took the masking tape and I took it around here as tight, well not as tight as possible but I made sure that I've got a nice flat surface um, but some of my friends and the friend that did this say as well that you want as least um, as possible you don't want a lot of bumps in your carbon repair because it takes a while to sand this down so what I really did is I really tried to make this as smooth as possible and uh, I've put that on there. So at the moment, it is 13, I just got a pause at one in the afternoon. Um, it didn't take that long. It's actually not that difficult. If you know what you need to do and you've mixed everything correctly, then uh, just do what I didn't do. Wear gloves uh, because this is quite a sticky thing. Um, but yeah, now I'm, now I'm between boats. Do I leave this for another video, the unwrapping and the sanding? Or, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning and then we'll open this. I think I need 24 hours, 20 to 24 hours for this to cure. So I'll open this tomorrow afternoon, quarter past one, and then we'll continue this video. Cheers.